Hello everybody, welcome back to another English video. This week we're really going to challenge ourselves. We're going to use this worksheet to write down four sentences about the butterfly life cycle. We're going to do it together right now and then you're going to do it on your own afterwards. So let's go and see how we're going to do that. Let's go. Okay, so here is the worksheet that I would like you to print out this week. If you don't have access to a printer, you can just use a piece of paper and write each sentence on that. That's absolutely fine. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly writing activity. And it says, write a sentence about each part of the life cycle of a butterfly. Use the boxes at the top to help you. So up here we have some words to help us, so they've got some pictures next to them so we know exactly what they are and we can use these words to help us to write our sentences. These are tricky words that we might not know how to spell. Over here we've got some important things that we might need to remember, so it says sound it out, so we need to remember to use our sounds when writing our sentences. We need to remember to use finger spaces between our words and at the end of our sentence we need to remember to use a full stop. So let's have a look at what our first sentence will be about. Here is the picture. So these are our caterpillar eggs. So have a little think about what you would like to write as your sentence next to this one. Now I remember that when the eggs are laid, they are laid on a leaf. So I think my sentence is going to be, the eggs are on a leaf. So I'm going to start with, with the word the. And I need to remember a capital letter. And now the is a tricky word. So I'm going to remember how to spell that one. The. Then I need a finger space. I'm going to look up here because I have the spelling of eggs up here. So I can copy those down. The eggs are is another tricky word. The eggs are... On, I can sound that word out, on, on, a is another tricky word, and then leaf, 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 and at the end of my sentence, I need a full stop. Now I'm going to read it back to see if it makes sense. The eggs are on a leaf. That's a really good sentence there. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the next picture. Now I know this is a picture of a caterpillar because that comes next after the eggs. So I remember that the caterpillar hatches out of the egg and it's hungry and he's looking for food. So I think my sentence is going to be the caterpillar is hungry. So again, I need the, and actually I've already written that here so I can copy it down. Capital letter, the. Now, caterpillar is quite a tricky word, but I can see it up here and I can copy that one down. I need to remember my finger space. Caterpillar. The caterpillar is, now that's a tricky word, finger space, is hungry. Now, hungry is a word that I can sound out. So I need uh, mm, hunger, grr, and then e, our new sound from last week. And at the end of my sentence, I need a full stop. I'm going to read this back to check it makes sense. The caterpillar is hungry. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to move down to my third picture. Now this is of the cocoon. And I think my sentence for this one is going to be, he is in a chrysalis. Now, if you remember, chrysalis is like a different word for a cocoon. And I'm going to write that one because that's what they've written up here to help us. That says chrysalis. So I need to start with he. Now, he is a tricky word and it needs a capital letter. He is, finger space, is. And another finger space for in. I can sound this one out. I, n. He is in. Tricky word. A. Finger space. 
chrysalis. Now I'm going to look up here because that's a tricky one. Chrysalis. And at the end, I need a full stop. Let's read it back to check it makes sense. He is in a chrysalis. Brilliant. Okay, for my last picture, I've got a butterfly. And I think I'm going to write the sentence, he is a butterfly. So I can copy down, I've already written he up here and I can copy that down. Still needs a capital letter. He, finger space, is, that's a tricky word. He is, tricky word, a. And then butterfly is back up the top here. Butterfly, I can copy that one down. And what do I need at the end of my sentence? A full stop. Let's read that back. He is a butterfly. Perfect. Look at those brilliant sentences. Okay, now I want you to go and have a go at this worksheet yourself. See if you can come up with your own four sentences to write for each picture. Don't forget to use these words to help you. And don't forget to remember these helpful tips. So sounding out each word, using your finger spaces and using full stops at the end of your sentence. I can't wait to see all your beautiful sentences on tapestry. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.